Hi friends. In this video we are making a face recognition lock animation in After Effects. Let's move on to the video without further ado. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I had named the layers beforehand so that we wouldn't waste time. You can find such files on sites like freepick.com. First we create a new null object. And after setting the center point, we adjust the null object so that it comes to the edge of the phone. Now we select all the layers and connect them to the null object. Now we open the scale and rotation of the null object. We activate its keyframes. We set its scale to 0, rotation to 30. We go forward 10 frames. We set its scale to 110, rotation to minus 10. We go forward 10 frames again. We set its scale to 95, rotation to 5. We go forward 10 frames again, scale to 100, rotation to 0. We select all keyframes and give them easy ease. Okay, so far we are doing well. Now we open the opacity of the rectangle layer. We start the keyframe and set its value to 0. We go forward 5 frames and set the opacity value to 100. Now we open the scale of the rectangle layer and activate its keyframe. We go forward 15 frames and set the scale value to 115. We go forward 15 frames again and set the scale value to 100. Okay, we are doing well. Now we add the camera lens blur effect from the effects to the face layer. The thing we need to pay attention to is that the timeline bar is in the same place as the scale value of the rectangle layer. We activate the keyframe of the blur radius and set its value to 0. We go forward 15 frames and set its value to 12. We go forward 15 frames again and set its value to 0. Okay, nice. Now we select pen tool and draw a line to scan the face. We fix the center point. We make the stroke value 5. And we set the stroke color like this. Now we add the Gaussian blur effect to the shape layer we drew. Set the blurriness value to 30. Then we add the glow effect. And set the glow radius to 50. Now we split the scan layer in 2 seconds and 10 frames. And delete the layer in front of the layer we split. Activate the position where we split. Go forward 25 frames. And slide the scan layer down along the face.
Go forward 25 frames again and copy the previous keyframe and paste it here. And this process will be repeated twice. In the last keyframe, we split the scan layer. Okay, nice. But there's one last thing left. We make sure the opacity value of the rectangle layer remains the same. And we go forward 10 frames and set its value to 0. That's it friends. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in other videos.